Hello there. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to explain to you the meaning of forms and I'll go ahead to develop some forms using the database that we developed in the previous video. The database that we developed in the previous video was called a school database. However, to illustrate the meaning of forms, I want to use this HR resource application. As you already aware, there are a number of objects you find in a database. Forms is one of the objects you find in a database. So the forms are very, very important in easy capturing or easy entering of data into the tables. And also they make life easy when it comes to editing information in the tables. Instead of going straight into tables to work on data, the forms are user friendly. In other words, the forms connect to tables. For example, this is a sample form. You can see I can enter staff ID. I can enter name. I can enter date employed, date confirmed, age. I can even add a photograph. I can uh, enter date of birth and so on and so forth. So it makes life easy to use the forms rather than interacting with the tables. You can see that I can update several tables using just one interface of a form. Dependence can be table, education can be a table, and so on and so forth. Without further ado, let me take you back to the database we develop such that I can illustrate the forms in more detail and I'll be showing you how to develop forms from scratch. So you go to start, access, or you can just go straight to the folder where you saved your database. So uh, the database we developed in the previous video about the tables, uh, I called mine school database two. So when I double click it, my database will show up. You remember the teacher's table and student table. You don't worry about this so much, just enable contents. So, when I click on teacher's table, you remember all this information we captured in the teacher's table. When I click on student's table, you remember all this information we captured in the student's table. But now we want to create forms based on these tables. I'm going to show you. Uh, different methods of creating forms or based on these tables. I'm going to first create a form based on teacher's table. Click on teacher's table, go to create. I'm going to first use this option forms. When I click on forms, that option will automatically create for you a form. It will also automatically create for you a sub form. 
this is a form for the teachers. It will enable you capture data for the teachers. So that's how you can quickly create a form. So when I click on save, I can call this teachers form. I say OK and close the form. I'm also going to create students form. So you click on students table. This time I'm going to use another method. I'm going to show you another method of creating forms. I want to create a form based on students table. Got create form design. Click on add existing fields. Click on show all tables. I want to use students table. Click on it. Expand it. Drag and drop the fields on this form as simple as this. You can expand here and I close here. So if I save this, I can save it as students form. I press OK, close. So how can I find the forms I created? You go to this button, go to forms, and the forms are already there. So I click on the first form we created, teacher's form. The form is indicated as you can see. I can close this form here. Then I open student form. Again, you can see this form is created. I, if I wanted, if I wanted to organize this form, you can see things are not well aligned here. These are called text boxes. They are not well organized. I can as well go back on this form design view and organize this so the best way of doing that is click on this press control click the second one like that like that 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 and then you click on arrange Arrange and then after that you click on align to the left. Everything will be organized. Same thing, you can also align this. Press down control key as you select. Then you go to align to the left. So you can see your form is becoming better. I can even change the color of this background. Select on it, right click, then select fill back color. I can use 
that back color. Maybe that is too dark. Select. Can you use any color you want? Then I can say save and close. So that when I open my phone, it's right there, very well organized. So if you wanted to add data to this form, it's quite very easy. These are called the navigation buttons. This one takes you to the very first record. This one takes you to the next record. This one takes you to the last record. And this one clears the table for you to input data. So for example, here you can input a new data. Assuming this is one zero 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 two. You see you can't enter more than six characters. Remember the tables uh, we we worked on, we set that to six characters. Teacher ID, teacher ID, you can say SA00. SA002 We are entering information for a student First name Assuming this is Mike Last name Mike Foxo, date of birth, you can see our calendar again is popping up, 10, 2010, class, maybe form, form, two, address, one, two, three, two, so New York, Gender, you can see, you can select male here. So here, once I click on new, the previous data is already saved. So you can see I can scroll through my records using a form. Remember, we are on student's form. I can close this form. I can go ahead and even edit this form further. If I don't want this color, I can change the color. Right click here. Change the background color to this. I can even edit these parts so that the, uh, the words are separated. Okay, and then I save, close, so I can open this form, change, I can go back and change even the text of this. I can change the color of this text uh, to save blue or something more bright uh, say what maybe this save and close so whichever format you want to use uh, you can change the colors the design I can even change the background of these text fields. 
right click I can change this to say some color oh that's not good maybe I can change to green and I can change the background to whichever color you want to that so you can manipulate this to look the way you want so save and then close so as you can see this is my form i can as well open teachers form at the same time this is student form you can see you can toggle between students form and teachers form i can redesign this form right click i can scroll down to remove this i can change make all the changes that i need to make can change the color of this background maybe change it to dark gray this one dark gray this header i can give it a different color let's say light gray and the footer I again uh, light gray and then I can uh, change the colors of this text right click maybe change it to whatever color you want can it be white and once I click on save, click close, close, close. So I can open my uh, teacher's form. Again, you can see, you can navigate through. So this is how you create the forms. So these forms are, are connected to the tables so when i close this form and i go back to the tables and i, I click on students table i'll be able to find mike fox i captured using a form when i click on teachers table I'll be able to see the connection of the teachers to students. So when I click this plus sign, I can see that James is being taught by Andrew. When I click on this one, I can see Mike is being taught by Mary. I can as well minimize this. I'll give you more details about forms in my next video where I'll be explaining the meaning of subforms. I think you remember you saw a form that popped up at the bottom of the teacher's table. We had a subform below, which I deleted for his explanation. But I'll be explaining to you the meaning of subforms before we continue with the queries and then the reports in the subsequent videos once again thank you very much for visiting my channel visit again to find more videos by the end of the last video you'll be able to develop any application any database using microsoft access thank you bye for now